That was it. I have a letter U book. Sort of. Birthday countdown. 15 days till Charlie's birthday. 45 days till Heath's birthday. 61 days till Milena's birthday. 64 days till Georgia's birthday. You ready for this book? Let's do it. Hope you're all working on your patterns. I'm gonna ask for them on Friday. Whoosh. Did you see that? Hair flick. I was excited for this book. I like unicorns. Not quite narwhal. By Jesse Sima. Sima? Sime? Not sure. I'm sorry, Jesse. Not quite narwhal. This is so cute. Oh, boys and girls. I'm excited for this. I think there's some questions along the way. Kelp was born deep in the ocean. He knew early on that he was different from the other narwhals. His tusk wasn't as long as everyone else's. He had different tastes in food. Look at that. And he wasn't a very good swimmer. Is there some food that your family eats that you don't like? Is there some food you like that maybe your parents don't like? Think about it. But his friends didn't seem to mind, so Kelp decided he wouldn't either. So look, the other narwhals, they don't care that Kelp is just a little bit different from them. They're still his friend. That is, until he was swept away by a strong current. Current pulled him away, and here he is, he's yelling. I wish I were a better swimmer. Oh. Kelp found himself at the surface, closer to land than he'd ever been before. High up on a cliff, he spotted a mysterious, sparkling creature. It looked so familiar, it looked like Kelp. There's Kelp down here. There's the creature up top. Kelp swam toward land as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that he could catch up with the creature that looked just like him. When he finally reached the shore, Kelp felt a little bit anxious. He had never left the ocean, but he was nervous about walking for the first time. But the land creatures made it look so easy. It wasn't. Oof. Why do you think Kelp couldn't figure out how to walk like the crab? Look, now a frog is going to teach Kelp how to walk. Ow! Eventually, he got the hang of it. Everything on land was strange and beautiful, but also kind of scary. Kelp began to think he might never find the creature that looked just like him, but as he stumbled out of the forest, land narwhals. Actually, we unicorns, and by the looks of it, so are you. Oh my gosh! Not that silly. He called them land narwhals. Look at this. Unicorns everywhere. This one's playing a guitar. Rainbows. Butterflies. I like that picture a lot. Kelp had never heard of unicorns before. They taught him all sorts of new things about his tusk. We call them horns. Wow. They introduced him to unicorn delicacies. It says unicorn. Ha! Like snow cone. 
and they showed him how to gallop. There was no doubt that Kelp was in fact a unicorn. He was having so much fun that he didn't want to leave. But then he remembered all of his friends under the sea. Kelp missed them terribly, so he said goodbye to the unicorns and returned to the ocean. Come back soon! Kelp swam toward home as fast as he could, which wasn't very fast at all, hoping that the narwhals would still like him now that he was a unicorn. What do you think? Do you think the narwhals are still going to like him? Or are they going to say, get out of here, Kelp, you're not a narwhal? Let's see. When he finally arrived, Kelp had butterflies in his stomach. He felt really nervous. Welcome home! Kelp! They look pretty happy to see Kelp. Kelp took a deep breath and told his friends the news. It turns out I'm not a narwhal. Of course you aren't. I am a unicorn. We all knew that. They took it quite well. So they already knew Kelp was not a narwhal and they were okay with it. They still loved him. Kelp was happy to be home, but now that he'd experienced life on land with the unicorns, he couldn't seem to forget them. Did he want to be a land narwhal with the unicorns or a sea unicorn with the narwhals? Kelp couldn't decide. Then he realized that maybe What do you think he's going to pick? What do you think he should pick? Land, sea. Land, sea, sea land. Just maybe. <gasps> maybe he didn't have to choose. So amazing. So he brought them all together. Look at that. There's kelp right there. Look, unicorns and narwhals are playing volleyball. What in the world? These are so flat. They probably popped them. This unicorn selling unicorns. They're all getting along. I love that. Because Kelp didn't have to just pick one side, right? You could be friends with everybody. And everybody could be friends with each other. That's a beautiful picture. Look, there's even this one. This unicorn is holding onto the narwhal. I really love this picture because everyone is so happy. They don't care that they are different. And then this is even great. I'm a unicorn. Um, is that a unicorn? That'd be silly. And then look at the back. I'm so happy now. So I want you to think about, is there any food you like or don't like? That your parents like or do like? Don't like? Do like. Don't like. Then I want you to try to think of there's a part in here. Let's see. Oh yeah, remember when he's trying to walk? Was there something you were learning to do that kind of took a long time and maybe it hurt? No, but maybe it was just frustrating to learn, but you eventually got it. Maybe riding a bike, that took a while. It took me 20 years to learn how to write a book. I love this book. All right, I'll see you all Friday. I think I'm going to read this book again. Maybe I could practice drawing unicorns. Because if there's one thing Michael Lovell can't draw, it's horse things. <laughs>